How's it going everyone? Today we're out here at the Animal Adventure Park down here in Boynton Beach, Florida. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Should be a lot of fun. Have exotic animals. I saw some camels. Should be a good time. Let's head in. Let's check it out. All right, so we're getting ready to go right now. I'm having to whisper in the bathroom because Alicia's out there so she doesn't hear me. So all she thinks we're doing is just going to this place just to walk around for a day off, go see some animals, just have a nice little morning, afternoon, and then head out. She has no idea I have this booked. I think she's going to be super, super excited when she finds out. It's going to be really fun. So you excited to see some animals today? Out of all everything you think that's going to be there, what are you most excited to see? Hopefully some zebras. See, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. I did read that apparently they do have more stuff than what they said online. So with that said now, because I don't know what cute, else is there. I want some cute mini pigs. Cute mini pigs? Yeah, like the little teacup pigs. Out of all the things, out of any animal, is that the animal you want to see the most right now? No, I'd love to see an otter and let me hold an otter. That'd be cool. I mean, we're in Florida. Like, otters are native to down here, so I don't know how that works, but I don't know. It'll be fun though, won't it? Yep. Should be a lot of fun. We'll see. I do have one little surprise about while we're here. Why? So, remember what you said earlier on the way down about like what you hope to see and stuff like that? Yeah. What would you do if I told you that I found out that they have otter encounters here? and you can see them and you can pet them and you can hold them and i booked a private time for us at about 45 minutes to come check it out and that's serious? the actual reason why we're down here yeah yeah so the way this place works is they uh <laughs> yeah so you can uh you can encounter everything and then i found out on their uh, facebook page you can like book individual ones and they have an otter encounter and i booked a private one out so we're gonna i don't know how much time we have but at one o'clock, which is in like 45 minutes, we're gonna go in and uh, see an otter. Ah. So yeah, that's the actual reason why we came down here. We didn't come down just to like see everything else. I mean, I think we can do that, but the main reason is because- I did not know that. Eh. How about that? You can even see an otter. She's legit said for the longest time, she wants to know what an otter feels like, like how soft it is. This is like the world's softest animal or something like that. Yeah. I, we might be finding that out today. So this should be a lot of fun, actually. I'm actually really excited about it too because I've never touched one, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure the camera should be allowed to come in there so we can film everything, I think. So we'll find out. <laughs> a baby otter who's eight and a half months old. <laughs> and uh, he is five pounds, but uh, Harry is one of 13 species of otter. He's an Asian small clawed otter. Um, not only are they the smallest otter on the planet, they're also the most vocal. So, uh, this portion of the uh, experience is pretty quiet, but there will be times in here you'll notice he's pretty active um, with his mouth and, and vocally. He does like belts too. <laughs> He uh, undid someone's belt in our last. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Now, not only are they the smallest <laughs> and the. <laughs> Another thing that's pretty surprising is you've never touched an otter and how soft they are. They're yeah, so part. soft. Um, <laughs> the reason why we sit on the ground is because he is so slick that if he would fall right out of your hand. <laughs> the other reason we sit on the ground is uh, he's really good at jumping and grabbing and climbing, yeah. um, but what he's not good at is falling. So you'll notice he just kind of like dives off things. So the higher you get, the more dangerous he yeah. is. And um, if you uh, found a stick. Got a tree stick. Hi. Are they all rescued or how? Like the majority of our animals here are rescued. Okay. Um, we do have some that I don't consider rescues, but um, needed a home. Um, but we all started this because she decided to start riding horses, and then uh, we rescued a horse for her. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, the horse we rescued is the first animal we obviously ever rescued, and uh, it turns into one of the coolest things ever that we've done. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's we, really cool. We are extremely lucky nope. to be able to do what we love to do. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> you can pet him. Oh. 
when he gets close to your ear, it's extremely loud. You're just making one of my dreams come true. <laughs> Yeah. And this is actually our last day here. We're leaving tomorrow to head up to Daytona to film. Oh, wow. And we just, I happened to literally get an ad for this on Facebook yesterday. That's when I text. Yeah. I'm not sure the person. That's my wife, Heather. Okay, yeah. So I text her about it. That's cool. I was like, this would be a really cool, really cool thing to do. That's awesome. That's great. You get to play. Just travel all the different golf places. Yeah, literally. That's cool. It's hard. The only video we ever went viral on YouTube, well, not viral, but in reality, but this is called Animal Adventure Park, but with, instead of an ED, it's with an AD, and they're in New York. Interacting <laughs> with people, and he doesn't bite as much as other otters. Where my other two otters are incredible, and um, they love interacting with people, but they love biting people just as much. Oh, okay. So, like, you guys would be a bit ten times better. Are their teeth like, I can kind of tell when you open them, like, they look like they're a decent size. Are they super sharp or are they, are they really? <laughs> She'll be back outside in about a moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> and it sprays, I don't know if you can feel his fingers on your neck, but he's so gentle and soft usually with his hands. I can tell that he's touching. Yeah, he, he moves his fingers around a little bit. He feels your body pins in there. He's putting his fingers through. <laughs> It doesn't hurt, like he's very... Yeah, they're, he's being super gentle. But he, he knows that there's something there, so he just got his fingers around them. Lots of glasses. It's so loud when they get near your ear. <laughs> and then the other hard part is you can't have one, or then you have to become a real otter. Yeah, just, uh, LaShawn. Le LaShawn. LaShawn. Let her know to that. Uh, they are very soft. The most surprising thing when um, we first started working with otters yeah. is um, quickly realized, like, and uh, their main diet is fish and crustaceans. So, like, uh, we always keep some fish out here for them. Uh, that's trout. The um, reason why we like trout is because it's fresh water and that's what he needs. But yeah. uh, trout can get whole, and then you just cut it up and. Uh, the most important thing is he gets all the bones and the skin because nutritionally it's, it's the best thing for him. And it's like I'll grab him a lot by his tail when I have to pick him up. And what's weird is that's how otters grab each other. Like they'll use their teeth and they'll grab their each other's tail and pull them and then they'll use their hands too. <laughs> so, I don't think there's a cuter animal on the planet than an otter. Yeah. Keep taking really quick tower naps. It's like, okay, now. Go, 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 go. Because they could pass messages along going to the bathroom. That's why it's so important to have that area for him so he feels like he can send a message to oh, another cool. otter. That's cool. Which is pretty cool. That's cool. They all have their own unique scent, so they all smell different and they can tell each other apart by their smell. No glasses. <laughs> You've already ruined two pairs of mine. <laughs> I legitimately did nothing but go there every day while my daughter was in school. And um, the one thing I found about hanging out with animals is they're identical to people. Okay. Yeah, every uh, every person you bump into has their own personality, right? They're all different. Uh, but the one thing that is most in common for 99% of every human I've ever met is um, if you show them respect and you show them love, they, humans don't know how to not return that favor. Same way as if you're rude and disrespectful to another human, 99% of them are going to be rude and disrespectful back. Yeah. You know, you smile to someone, they usually smile back. And it's the same thing with, with animals. So if you treat them with respect, like they respect you back. You show them love, then they show you love back. And it's that's it. It's really all it comes down to communicating with them is understanding their feelings that, uh, like, let's just say, the night before last, 
thunder and lightning all night long. Mm. You can't expect an animal to act the same way when they wake up that morning as they would on a normal night that it's beautiful out. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, even you get woken up in your own house when it's thunder and lightning. Imagine living outdoors. So oh, you yeah. can't understand that your animal may act a little bit different, then you're not able to communicate with them. Right. Like, uh, like, even for pony rides, we wouldn't bring a pony out a day after a rainstorm at night. Like, they didn't sleep good. Mm. Like, you think, like, I know when I don't sleep good, if I have to go do a job, like a real work, like, oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not, I'm not in it. You know, and when you're working with animals, you have to understand their feelings that they're just like people. You don't wake up happy every day. I mean, unless you do, but I don't. <laughs> I wake up in a bad mood one day and, like, no one wants to talk to me. Got to go to Starbucks, get my coffee. I don't want to say a word to anybody. Right? Well, hell yeah. And then there's some days you wake up, you're like, hey, how you doing? Good morning. You're like, you need a happy coffee yet. So, you know, uh, animals are the same way. They, they wake up feeling different uh, every single morning. And if you don't know that, then you're kind of lost working with animals. For sure. <laughs> Which would be awesome. Because our other two otters fight all the time. <laughs> Is he the main one y'all usually bring out because of that? The only one oh, okay. I don't bring the others out because they legitimately will like grab your like ankle and just look at you with skin in their mouth. <laughs> in the nicest, cutest way too. Like, you know, like, but I have your ankle. How's that feel? You know, and they're just trying to see like how you're going to act. You want to go see Olivia? Yeah? Hey guys, I, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Dude, I, thank you, man. <laughs> this was really fun, man. Seriously, thank you. That was that. Amazing. That was really fun. That was really, really that cool. Was I love it. <laughs> well, I'm glad. So yeah, the way this place works is it was ten bucks to get in, unless you paid I think for an encounter, and then the admission was included. And you can do all the stuff. There's like camels and cows, like a pen and stuff like that. We got to see a kangaroo. We got to see a sloth. I got a selfie with the sloth. I'm just saying, and then the otter encounter stuff like that. You could add on in addition. But that was it. Was really cool. And just at this farmers market, like come check it out. They were really nice to us. It's like. You can kind of see just by the way um, they were explaining when we were in there, like really chill people. Yeah, very nice people. Very chill people, like they respect the animals, which is always really good. And the fact that they have the three otters just living at their house is kind of fun. And everything else, like the kangaroo, everything goes back with them at night, so that's insane. But enjoy your surprise? Yes. There you go. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> well, I'm glad. And guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.